okay these are australian dollar for our time frame so i believe we will see price pushing up a little bit and get to this level here close this five level gap and also this liquidity void that has been created here and then get to this level here and quickly we see price at this level going down okay so our stop losses it can be resting here 5 to 10 pips above this high not this high okay 5 to 10 pips above this high so if you look at this level here and you look at the idea that we have an order block here and price came back to this other block and look at this candle here this is what we call a propulsion block so what we are expecting is price to get back to this propulsion block not this level of our order block here so hence that's why i put the price here and the target here so you can put your stop loss here and make sure that your entry is at this level we might see price push a little bit get to this level of 50 percent of this propulsion block here or order block or mitigation block because if you look at this structure like this this is a high okay this is a higher low so if you look at this structure here at the same time it is a mitigation block because we have price pushing down forming a low coming back to this level of our other block and then continue to go down so these are mitigation block at the same time and at the same time these are propulsion block this candle here and at the same time someone will just look at this level like this and say this is a high and this is a low and then this is the last down this is the last up candle so someone might just say this is an order block of which all these things are true this is also an order block so we are waiting for price to get to this level here and then quickly it goes down so your stop loss is gonna be above this level here so i believe price will get to this level and continue to go down so what you're gonna be targeting anything that uh depending on what price will give you at this level but the main target is price to collect the sell side liquidity that is going to be resting here and then continue to go down and also collect all these sell side liquidity that is that that will be resting here so that's it for the australian dollar